The other day I was helping my son with a JavaScript problem that dealt with a list of numbers, an array. When items are added, they needed to be added to the end of the array. When items were removed, they needed to be removed from the beginning of the array. This is a pretty simple problem if you remember the use of shift and unshift along with the use of push and pop. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Push, pop, shift, and unshift allow the adding and removing of items from an array. However, if you're like me, you almost exclusively use push and pop, which caused me to temporarily forget about shift and unshift when I was trying to help my son. All four of these are needed in certain situations. As mentioned earlier, let's say we have a list of numbers. When a new number is added, it goes on the end. When a number is removed, it comes from the start. That way numbers move towards the beginning over time. This can be a valuable approach for storing numbers in certain applications. Now this is easy to do if you remember all four methods. Let's first define what each method does, then we'll look at the simple solution. So first, push adds one or more elements to the end of an array and returns the new length. A couple important things about this definition, you can add one or more, it's not always just one. You can have multiple elements, just separate them with a comma, and it also returns the new length of the array. Pop removes an element from the end of the array and returns that item. So unshift does just the opposite of push. Unshift adds one or more elements to the beginning of an array and returns the new length of that array. And then shift does the opposite of pop. It removes an element from the beginning of an array and returns that element. Now something that's important to remember about unshift and shift, because they are adding elements to the beginning of an array, it is going to shift the index number for all the elements that are currently in the array. So items that are in the array will get new index numbers. All right, let's take a look at this. So here is an array that I already have in the JavaScript file attached to this HTML file. So let me open up the console first and we'll look at a few things. So first I'm going to push a number onto the array. Now remember, where does push add that? This is the length, it returned the, the length, and where did push add it? To the end, down here at the end of the array. Okay. Now if we pop, so push and pop work together. Pop will pop, pop off the last thing that we pushed on, so here it returns the number 10. Now unshift, let's do a 10 again. Notice it returns the length. Let's now look at the array, and it is here at the front. So basically what it had to do is change the index of all these numbers. It added one to the index of all those numbers that are already in there. And then of, co of course, shift is going to pop it off from the front. And there we go. There's our array with that 10 popped off. Now, as I mentioned with any of these with, well, I should say with push or unshift, you can add one or more items. So let's go ahead and add two items. Now the length is eight. If I take a look at the array, we can see that those two items were added here at the end because I used push. So that's push, pop, unshift, and shift. That's how we would use them. All right, now let's solve this very simple problem. I want to be able to add at the end and remove from the beginning so that numbers move in this order. And that can be very valuable if you're keeping track of something and it is important at what time they enter this list that determines when they will leave the list. 
So very simple to do. We're just going to set up two functions here. Add item. We'll obviously add an item to the list. We'll pass in a number. And we simply use push because we want to add it to the end. And so that will add it to the end of the array. Then to remove, we want to get our item out of the list. Set up a function for that as well. And this time, since we're removing from the front, we want to use shift. And we're going to return that number. So instead of using pop, which will take it from the end, we'll use shift, which will take it from the beginning. All right, so let's go ahead and add a couple of items. Let's see, we'll add a 15 and add a 7 as well. Let's save that much and see where we're at. So if I refresh here, and if I take a look at the array, there's a 15 and 7 at the end, 5 and 4 are at the beginning. Now, if in that same code file, let's pull something off. Let's use get item to pull something off of the front. And we'll log the number to the console so we can see what it is. Save that. Jump out here, refresh. Here's our two numbers we pulled off of the front. Okay. Let me get rid of that. And then, as we can see, those numbers are now missing once that I've displayed the array. So pretty simple tutorial this time around. But it's important to remember those differences. And don't get stuck like I do, constantly using push and pop. Normally, in most situations, that works for working with an array. But remember that there is shift and unshift, which can help you solve certain problems. Now, before we are done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. If you would like to dive more deeply into JavaScript, I've provided discount links to my courses in the description section of this tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.